how to build a radio when the grid is gone. The airwaves are silent. And you're not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The world ended not with a bang, but with a profound and terrifying silence. Every dead phone and silent speaker is a monument to your solitude. So we're gonna eavesdrop on the ghosts in the static. First, you need an antenna, a long piece of copper wire stripped from a dead house or a fallen power line. Now, wrap most of that wire tightly around a hollow tube. A toilet paper roll is a classic for a reason. The other end of your wire needs a good ground. Shove it onto a metal pipe or bury it in the dirt. Here comes the magic, or what passes for it these days. Get a rusty razor blade. The rustier, the better. And the lead from a pencil. This pathetic little pairing is your detector. You'll need an earpiece, an old high impedance one if you can find such a fossil. No fancy modern earbuds, they won't work. The science? Your antenna is catching countless radio waves, invisible rivers of energy. The coil lets you tune into one river at a time. Your rusty blade and pencil lead act as a one-way gate, turning that energy into a signal your earpiece can understand. The whole thing is powered by the broadcast itself, no battery required. Gently touch the pencil lead to different spots on the rusty blade until you hear something other than your own breathing. A faint voice, a snatch of music, a string of numbers. Congratulations. You've reached out and touched the void. You're either hearing the last remnants of civilization or the first broadcast of whatever comes next.